like the video if you like the video pause the video if you want the base from the video when you maxed your town hall there is actually nothing that you can do in your account but let me tell you something that there is actually something to do that is you can build these types of marvel weapons like Stormbreaker, Mjolnir, Captain America Shield, Infinity Gauntlet and also the Iron Man suit by using all of your walls. Let me show you by using these dummy accounts. Let's get into the video. A quick note to everyone, you cannot build these bases like this. So try to build this way or this way. Let's start with the easy ones. First Stormbreaker. It's so easy to do that you need to just make an outline for the axe at first and then its handle. That's all and fill them with other walls inside them. Just like this you can easily finish the storm breaker. I'm using the color walls to maintain the accuracy. But you can use whatever level walls you need. Here is the end product. The Groot's hand and the storm breaker. Same applied for the Meholnir. Just build a rectangular box and fill them with all the walls inside it and adjust their corners your Meholnir will be ready very soon just for the showcase i'm writing its name here is the final product From here on now, I will be using more walls to present the bases as beautifully as I can. But you can use 325 walls and build them, but in mini size. Just a little bit smaller, that's it. Next, we have Captain America Shield. Here on now, it gets a little bit sketchy because you need to draw circles around it. But first you need to start with a star in the middle of the shield and then after you need to fill the spaces between the star's hands with white walls and after that circle them with the pink walls and then white walls and then pink walls. You need to do it patiently because the circles are a little bit hard in the 2D games. After doing for a while here is the result and it is the Captain America shield. I mean, I'm not a best designer, so the circles are not so perfect. At number 4, we are going to make the Infinity Gauntlet, the one that you saw from the Infinity War. You know how to do it? Let me show you. First, made a glove like hand by having a structure like this. And you need to do the hand patiently because the fingers may become crisscross sometimes. So do it patiently. After the glove is made, you need to fill the spaces between them with the walls and upgrade them all to level 5 to make it golden look like this. And then after, it's quite simple. You need to make spaces for the infinity stones and put the infinity stones on them. Here are my infinity stones, the orange walls or the soul stone and poison spell tower is a reality stone and pink walls is power stone and blue walls is space stone this green bush is time stone and the gold storage is a mind stone how is it let me know in the comments doing iron man's base is probably the toughest one amongst all of them because of this process first you need to make a man look like this and then you need to proceed by filling the gaps with the walls and adjust all the body parts according to the Iron Man's face. Here is the top portion of the Iron Man's body and it's not actually finished. Now I'm working on the legs. Here is the total look of the Iron Man's base. You can also make it smaller. From here on now it becomes the toughest. First I upgraded all the walls to level 5 and to make it better look like this. So I started making designs by upgrading them to pink walls. It takes a lot of time and effort to make it so precise and accurate. I'm not saying I'm precise, but if you want to make it precise, it takes a lot of time. After upgrading it for a while, here is the total look of the Iron Man's base. And Robert Downey Jr, if you are watching this video, you need to like this video and see you guys in the next video.